welcome back to another TechMinds video. Now in this video, we'll take a look at the DX Patrol Up Converter Mark IV. Now if you do not know what an Up Converter does, then let me explain. Essentially, it takes an RF input of one frequency and then outputs the same transmission on another frequency. Now this Up Converter has been designed to output on the 13 centimeter ham band, which is 2.4 gigahertz. Now this is primarily designed to work with QO100 for part of a narrow band uplink transmitter. However, it could also be used in other projects for 13 centimeters. Now on one end of the up converter, we find a 12 to 18 volt DC input via a standard barrel type connection. We also find the main RF output via an SMA connector. Now on the other end of the converter, we see an IF in, a 10 megahertz in, and two status LEDs, one which shows TX or standby status, and the other shows the PLL is locked. The IF in is where you would connect your transmitter or driving signal transmitter. There is no need for a PTT control as RF sensing above 100 milliwatts will automatically put the converter into transmit with a hold time of around 250 milliseconds. Now the 10 MHz in is there in case you want to use an external clock source instead of using the internal 10 MHz TCXO. In fact, in this demonstration, I'll be connecting my Leo Bodner GPSDO. Now let's take a quick look at how the DX Patrol up converter would integrate into a narrow band QO100 uplink transmitter. On the left, we have our main transmitter capable of transmitting SSB on either 28 MHz, 144 MHz, 432 MHz, or 1.2 GHz. Now these are the four different bands that the DX Patrol up converter Mark IV can use to output a 2.4 GHz signal. The output from the transmitter then goes to the IF input of the up converter with roughly 1 to 3 watts for normal use. Now, even though the up converter has a fairly stable TCXO at 10 MHz, there is an option to use an external clock source, something like a Leo Bodner GPSDO. Of course, this is optional. The output from the up converter, which is rated up to 200 milliwatts at 2.4 gigs, would need to be fed into an RF amplifier. Now, depending on where you are in the world and your drive levels, a normal final output of between 5 to 10 watts should get you heard on QO100. Now, the output of the amplifier would then go to a 2.4 GHz antenna. Most popular designs are the Helix or Patch type antennas, known as a potty. Now, in this configuration on the dish arm, you can see an LMB in the middle of that Helix transmitting antenna. Now this would be used for receiving the 10 GHz signal from QO100 and down converting it to around 739 MHz for your receive. Now I won't talk much about the receive side of things in this video as I've done that before, but essentially you would need to feed a 12 volt bias T to the LMB and then connect the output to an SDR. I will show you this later in the video when I come to test the uplink. Inside the DX Patrol Up Converter Mark IV, we can see a couple of jumpers and a little dip switch. Now this dip switch is used to tell the up converter which IF signal to use, whether it's 28, 144, 432 or 1.2 GHz. This would depend on the radio which you're connecting to the up converter. The jumpers over to the right of the board are to disable the power to the internal TCXO and to activate the external clock input via the SMA socket. Now, as I'll be using the Leo Bodner GPSDO for this project, I'll change the jumpers as required. You'll also notice a little variable resistor towards the top of the board, labeled as Power Adjustment or PWIDJ. Now, this allows fine adjustment of the final output from the up converter. Let's now attach the external clock source, but first I need to change these jumpers as mentioned before. Now with the jumpers changed, I can now attach the external clock source. But before I do this, I need to make sure that the output clock is set to 10 megahertz. Now the last time I used this was with the Pluto SDR, which required a 40 megahertz clock. So using the free Windows utility from Leo Bodner, I now need to reprogram the output clock to 10 megahertz. 
Now this is fairly easy to perform just by typing in the new frequency and then clicking the update and apply buttons. Wait until the PLL is locked before disconnecting, just to make sure that it's working as required. Now with regards to level output, any of them will work according to DX Patrol. With the jumpers changed, the GPS DO configured and connected, we can connect the power to the up converter and should now see a green LED illuminate, which indicates a clock source lock. With everything now mounted into a waterproof box, it looks pretty good to go. So here we have a 30 watt E-Rean 2.4 gigahertz amplifier, which is being fed with around 31.5 volts from a DC to DC step up converter. The main input voltage into the box is coming from a 13.8 volt DC supply. This same 13.8 volt supply is also feeding directly to the DX Patrol up converter and also to a small DC to DC step down converter to provide 5 volts to the GPSDO. The dish I'll use for this project will be a 1.2 meter offset dish. The Helix antenna is a 3D printable design which I've also covered in another video, so go check that out if you're interested. The LMB has a long 75 ohm cable connected in which it goes off to my shack for receiving the QO100. With the coax from my TS2000 connected to the IF in on the up converter and then the amplifier connected to the helix, it's now time to test on air. So back in the shack, I'll use my TS2000 to talk and use an SDR plate SDR receiver for receiving via SDR++ software running on my Mac M1. CQ start, CQ start, CQ start, M0 DQW calling CQ, M0 DQW calling CQ, I'm listening. Victor, uniform, number two Delta Papa November. Victor, uniform, number two Delta Papa November. Uh, the Victor Uniform 2 station, go ahead, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, nice meeting you. And my, you are 5 under 9, 59. My locator is November Kilo 03 Delta Bravo. November Kilo 03 Delta Bravo. And the name is Deepan, like Delta Echo Echo Papa Alpha November. Deepan is my handle. So, over to you. Uh, Mike Zero Delta Cuba Whiskey, Victor Uniform, Figure 2, Delta Papa November, over. Yeah, Victor Uniform 2, Delta Papa November. This is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Well, very good afternoon, Deepan. Nice to work you for the first time on uh, QO100. Uh, the name here is Matt Mike Alpha Tango. The name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango. Uh, my locator is India Oscar 91 November Tango. Uh, India Oscar 91. November Tango and uh, you're a five. Uh, I'll get you. I'll give you a report on the next over, but I think you're a five and nine. I think uh, you're uh, very clean and clear into the satellite deep band. Uh, microphone back to you. V U two D P N M zero D Q W. Mike Zero Delta Q but you see Victor Uniform Ticket to Delta Papa November. Was it Matt? Very happy to meet you. And uh, first of all, wish you and the family a happy and prosperous New Year. Uh, 2023. And I am using uh, about less than 3 watts with an upconverter to a 90 centimeter offset dish. Okay, uh, anybody else? This is Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec Whiskey, calling CQ, sir. CQ, sir. CQ, sir. Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec Whiskey, calling CQ. Uh, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey Sierra Papa 5 Echo X-Ray Alpha Sierra Papa 5 Echo X-Ray Alpha Yeah, Sierra Papa 5 EXA Very good afternoon to you The name here is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Cue it up Thank you so much. This is Sierra Papa 5, Echo X-Ray Alpha. Very good afternoon. You are 5 and 9. My name is Chris, Charlie Hotel Romeo India Sierra. And the locator is Kilo Oscar 02 Mike Foxtrot. Kilo Oscar 02 Mike Foxtrot. It is just center of Warsaw, the capital. So back to you, Matt. Over. Okay. 
CQ sir, CQ sir, CQ M0 DQW calling. Papa, Papa Joe, Romeo, Oscar, November. Papa, Papa Two, Radio, Oscar, November, is that correct? Roger, QSL. Wow, you're my first contact into Brazil on uh, on QO100. <laughs> Wow, excellent. Well, I presume this is you on QRZ.com. Uh, I think your name is Ron. Well, the name here is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango, in India Oscar 91 November Tango. Well, there we go, guys. That's my narrow band QO100 uplink sorted. You may think that my signal was not as strong as others, and you're correct. My main preamp that I normally use between the up converter and the amp decided to stop working yesterday. So the drive level into the amp was only around a quarter of what it should have been. However, from this example, you can clearly see it doesn't take a lot of power to make a contact through QA100. Now, I'm also working on a DATV transmitter project. However, I need more power. So I'm currently looking for a high power 2.4 gigahertz amplifier. And when I do, watch out. TechMinds TV will broadcast on QA100. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.